Hello and good day. Welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss and break down the final two months for Memphis Grizzlies before regular season ends. The Memphis Grizzlies have been the biggest surprise of the season, with a rotation that includes five guys in their first, second or third seasons, the Grizz were not supposed to compete for a playoff spot. And through the first seven weeks of the season, the Grizzlies were 6-16 and in 13th place in the West. But they've seen marked improvement since then. And as we come out of the All-Star break, the Grizzlies are in 8th place in the West at 28-26. Five games in the loss column ahead of the 9th place Portland Trail Blazers and 10th place San Antonio Spurs, veteran teams with active playoff streaks of 6 and 22 seasons, respectively. Some early playoff experience for Ja Morant and Yaron Jackson would be huge. But the Grizzlies aren't in the postseason yet. And though they have a big cushion for that final playoff spot in the West. They have the league's toughest schedule going forward, both in regard to opponent strength, cumulative opponent winning percentage of .554, and amount of road games, 16 of their final 28 games are on the road. The Grizzlies will have 16 games against the other 13 teams that have winning records. That includes two games each against the Lakers, Raptors, Rockets, Mavs, and Thunder. Of the Grizzlies' 12 games that aren't against teams with winning records, 5 are against the 3 teams, Portland, 2, San Antonio, 1, and New Orleans, 2, chasing them for that final Western Conference playoff spot. To make things more interesting, the Pelicans have the easiest remaining schedule in the league, with only 9 of their final 27 games against teams currently over .500. The Blazers. Meanwhile, have the second easiest and the most home-heavy remaining schedule in the West. Both ESPN and 538 show the Grizzlies as having a less than 25% chance of making the playoffs, which is pretty wild for a team that has a five-game lead in the loss column with less than 30 games to go. But it speaks to both the Grizzlies' relatively weak point differential, minus 1.4 per game, and how difficult their remaining schedule is. If they keep that playoff spot, they certainly will have earned it. 